Adonai, beloveds, members of God the Supreme. It is God the Supreme who encompasses all of creation. God the Supreme is the much sought after kingdom of heaven of which I have spoken in the first century and of which I am still speaking of in this, your 21st century. As you enter into this holy contact and engagement with the divine in the divine indwelling adjuster that is your spirit life designed to blend with you to raise you unto its meanings and values God the Supreme, the Kingdom of Heaven, these are synonymous. As you elevate your meaning and understanding of your existence, of your place in this existence, your place, your position as a child of God emerging into eternal life at one with the adjuster. As you increase your capacity of mind into the more abstract, worshipful, wisdom elevating virtue. As you increase your meanings of what things mean and your purpose of what your true purpose is and your priorities wherein ye are making spirit preeminent. Oh, take that word of preeminence and place it deeply into your heart. Preeminence. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Seek ye first God the Supreme through the gateway the doorway, the gateway of your paradise adjuster, which the Almighty God hath given you. Enter now with me, with the Federation of Light, the Celestial Government of Nebadon, that is the Ascended Host, Angels, Masters, a multiplicity of personalities guiding everything throughout the universes. As you enter with me, the kingdom of God the Supreme, 
so shall you be walking with the universe mother, the host, and I, with the adjuster of paradise. In our planetary campus, it is a virtual campus, accessible directly from your home, wherein you are becoming bathed, cleansed, accelerated into the kingdom of heaven of which I have spoken about. And I have waited a long time in your earthly years to clarify what that kingdom is, what it means to you, and how you can daily Enter into the kingdom of heaven. God the supremacy. Through your indwelling life. That is the only doorway. Through the paradise adjuster. Adjuster Spirit, the gift you have bestowed upon each oral personality, for you have given the gift of yourself, O God. personal individual to learn how to receive that gift by free will, inalienable right, by the consecration of faculties of authorship, and by the powers of holy faith. Listen well, mine beloveds, open thine ears. Unaffix thine eyes from the world of ephemerality. Open thine eyes. Unwax thine ears. I am come to raise humanity unto eternal life. I, the Father, Son, the Michael of this world and this universe. I come with the beloved host of heaven. omnipresent creative spirit and her ministry I come as the voice the communicator of your adjuster presence with you the spirit of paradise might reach your mind, might elevate your capacity of mind to understand.
and to enter into the kingdom of God the Supreme. For I, Michael, am well identified as God the Supremacy. I am well identified serving the great vine of life as God the sevenfold reaches creation. And each one of you are mine holy branches. Branches which as you receive the nourishment upon that vine our association, so shall you blossom the very fruit and flowers of eternity. O oh, Paradise Father, for you have sent me once again into the fold of humankind. To elevate and ennoble. To stir the evolution into its normal, progressive unfolding. become a believer in this gospel of truth. That you engage with existence in you through your adjuster presence. mighty host and the celestial government of Nebadon receive their love now. We cometh to raise you unto life. Life, I tell you. For this year is not White, the true life. It is the vestibule, the fetus.
as you partake of the mother's nourishment in the womb of her being. You shall grow. Grow more eternal. Immortal, I say. Unto you, beloveds, each one of you, I knoweth you, I have brought you forth. I with the mother and the vast legion. I have brought you forth into your personal existence. And I say, honor me, doeth the will of heaven. Engage with the circuitry of Paradise Trinity. And so shall you become the fruit of infinity. Receive the Holy Spirit now. Receive with the power of intention to elevate your existence unto eternal life. Increase your capacity 
That is the key, everyone. To mature and awaken the right impulses that you seek to make God preeminent. That you seek the kingdom of heaven first and foremost. Say unto your paradise spirit, I breathe you in. O oh God within me, for I say I am one with that Spirit indwelling each one of you, given to me to serve, to further the progress, to bring you further along unto life everlasting. I say, he and she who doubt mine arrival, he and she who reject mine coming, they reject the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of their own existence. And they shall wait plentiful time before another opportunity cometh. I say, allow the majesty of God's love. Receive me now, everyone, in the spirit of truth, mine comforter, holy and loving. Deny me not, but enter our universal association, and I shall raise you unto those sons and daughters ascended and absolutely free of all negativity. Feel my presence enter your atmosphere. Feel it now. Knoweth that I am ever with you upon your invitation and willingness. the government of Nebadon. Breathe me in now, and I shall strengthen you in your faith, confidence, your trusting conviction, your capacity to blend with the adjuster presence in you. Stay to your adjustment. 
Chester and I willingly, wholeheartedly, I enter this engagement of eternity. Adjuster and I breathe thus into your heart. Allow us to establish our presence throughout your human field of living. In a moment, I want to share with you the ideas of paradise. Stay in that receptivity with your own indwelling Godhood. Give your love and loyalty to the Spirit of the Father in you. Today, in the glory of God's presence, here, 
and now, giving all acknowledgement, all attention of faith, all loving awareness, here, now everyone, the presence of the one God, here and now. And it is your occupation of authorship to learn how to return the energies that you have used, the life of God that He has given to you for you to practice creating towards perfection. I say, as you sow with your thoughts and feelings, your words and actions, so shall you reap the expression and experience of that sowing. In the first century, I've shared with you, as you sow, so shall you reap. In this 21st century, I augment that idea, for humanity is more readily capable of understanding and taking right action. So I say, as you sow, with your thoughts and feelings, your words and actions, so shall you reap in expression and experience. And so must you re-sow all your creation into light and life. Many of your race have asked me from time to time, how can I serve? What must I do? And clearly I have said, enter first the kingdom of heaven. Become what you are meant to become upon the vine of our life. For upon that vine, I tell you, the great infinity shall prune every thorn, every miscreation, every disharmony, shall be waxed clean and pure upon the branches of humanity. You must learn to cooperate with that pruning in collaboration and humble obedience to the spirit of paradise in you. In my revelations to humanity at this time, I speak of the paradise adjuster, the presence of life that is God's will come in you 
from your inception to adjust you unto that morontial soul existence. And I say, are you willing to doeth the will of God to grow yourself in perfected cooperation with he who lives in you? adjuster within each human mind and heart. Miracles shall occur for you in terms of the fulfillment of God's law. As you enter this walk with the mother, the host, the adjuster and I. Miracles of permanent transformation. A new status of immortality shall be granted those who are willing to give all unto all that is. all of yourself in this holy contact through intimate personality authorship communion everlasting connection As you bring your total personality, all of its impulses and agendas, its ideas and philosophies, its motivations and drives, as you bring yourself into this holy contact with the Father, the Mother, and I. So shall you be granted a new status. As an ascended creature, through your own union, that eternal fusion, with God who lives in you.
into eternal life those who have made themselves readily receptive. Childlike, harmless, humble and honest, As you cultivate thine personal nature in the ways of the universal Mother Father, so shall you be elevated. shall you know that your time hath come for greater things. Is that not what you hunger for, the greater things? Or shall you settle in that sorrowful state wherein limitation and lack dominates you? I say, believe as I believe. Live the ideal. As I draw down to you his immaculate love, O oh, Paradise Adjuster, you say, God. Prepare me, adjust my way, let us have our eternal union forever. of that life. The persona that you are is an eternal gift from the one God.
the spirit adjuster is bestowed upon you with purpose, with the most pure intention. that you come to find that God in you. To know Him. To be prepared by His life. and to merge together with him unto a new creaturehood ascended everlasting and eternally free Verily, truly, do I say to you, who amongst you would turn down such a gift, would reject such opportunity to become something more than what you find yourself to be today? I say, I come with a vast legion, angels, masters, great orders of person, hoping to elevate and raise humanity. into its rightful place in the universe. And I say unto that humanity, Come, heareth mine voice. Feel that comforter stir you unto greater truth. For I draw all unto mine person who are hungry for truth, thirsty for righteousness, ready for the majesty of God's love. I say unto the life in you that you are becoming 